I'm sure it wouldn't be hard pressed to find someone in this room that knows someone that's been affected by stroke. There are over a quarter of a million strokes every year in the UK and in Scotland it's our third biggest killer. Now it's not a new phenomenon. Hippocrates first uh, described stroke 2,500 years ago where he said that patients looked like they'd received a strike from the hand of God. So why haven't we cured it yet? Well, several reasons actually. The most common type of stroke is ischemic stroke. This is where there's a blockage in a blood vessel, meaning that a part of the brain doesn't get any blood and therefore that part dies really quickly. The main problem, we only have one drug that can treat it and it must be given within four and a half hours. Unfortunately, not a lot of stroke patients get to hospital that quickly. Due to this, to try and urge the public to get there faster, this FAST campaign has been launched. Just to remind the public that when it comes to stroke, time is definitely of the essence. Despite this, only around 2 to 3% of all stroke patients actually get to hospital in time for the treatment. This means that a huge number of stroke survivors are left with lifelong disabilities such as paralysis. Furthermore, stroke funding for research is proportionally very low. Despite the fact that every year stroke kills twice as many women as breast cancer and twice as many men as prostate and testicular cancer together, stroke funding in 2012 was only about £60 million. That's compared to over £500 million for cancer research. So what are we doing to try and fix it? Well, me, personally, I'm looking at a hormone. It's called aldosterone. We know that aldosterone has a huge influence on blood pressure in the body, but recently it's been found that it also can have effects in the brain. Actually, if you use a drug and block the effects of aldosterone in an animal model, you get way less brain injury after a stroke. Now we can't give this specific treatment to humans for a variety of reasons, but it gives us an indication that aldosterone probably does have an effect on stroke in the brain. So now the hard part. My job is to find out what aldosterone does and if we can modulate it. To do this, I use computer-based models, cells, animal studies, and even human patient samples. So far, we've found that levels of aldosterone effectors are changed in the brain after stroke, and we've found a list of small molecules that are able to potentially um, affect the actions of aldosterone. Plus, these molecules are already in the brain. Our main hurdle with um, stroke research is that we just don't know enough. We don't know enough about what happens before and after and during in the brain stroke. So the idea is my project, among others, will try to kind of pave the way, shed some light on this, these processes, and hopefully one day we will finally find a cure.